How nervous are you about this speech? What what speech? The best man speech. <laughs> I didn't know if you were going retirement there. If you were, it's going to be Travis and Taylor, right? <laughs> bro, man, everyone's going to be focused, bro. You got to. <laughs> um, don't rush to get married. <laughs> no, I just wanted to set him up because I knew he was going to be like, "What the hell are you talking?" Yeah, I, I, I didn't know if you were going retirement or best. My man. my question for you is: Did you know what fame was? No. Until yeah, what did you learn about fame? Um, uh, I don't know that I've learned. I've learned that it, it's it's crazy what it opens up. Um, and it's, Ooh, it's amazing. Chicken. Oh, Shaquille style. American Bros. Okay. Thanks, and sir. Uh, and it's free because I know the owner. Hey, if it's free, it's for me. Uh, Thank you. It's crazy uh, what it opens up, opportunity wise. It's crazy to feel how much joy you bring people or they, how much you affect um, you know, people's daily lives. It's also incredibly, it has its drawbacks for sure. I mean, you know yeah, way yeah. more than I do. Um, and Travis knows way more than I I mean, he had to move, he had to completely move out of his house, right? What, what people were like Our coming garage, by? Yeah, people just staying by his house, yeah. I mean, safety reasons. Wow. In, in the first day he moved into the new house. They knew where he was already. He, a gated community. Somebody knocks on the back door, a window of the house. So. Because I know how low key y'all are. Yeah. Like I remember when you guys had that charity fashion show yeah. and it was just, all of the boys that you grew up Everybody with. Everybody from since, Cleveland Heights. Yeah. And, and that's the crew. Yeah. So there had to be some growing pains with all that stuff. Yeah, we're still learning. And Travis, I mean, it's so, listen, the, we, we've always been big in the football world, right? Travis especially. The Taylor world and the, the, the pop culture world, that's a whole different level. Like, you're, you're in a different, it, it's, it's just an, a, an added level of it's a new di demographic that wasn't there before so if we is, if, hold, okay go the key is to stay righteous yeah like for example people take pictures of me all the time they ain't doing yeah right so a lot of times they take the pictures because one they're trying to they're trying to up their instagram or whatever yeah, yeah. they're trying to sell a story sure. like so just i've been watching you and your brother a long time i could tell you all some good wholesome people just tell them Try not to wear, always keep your head on the swivel now, because right. you know, be some crazy, but don't, like, if you're not doing nothing, there's nothing to hide. Yeah, absolutely. See, like, when I when I go out, I don't take a picture. Like, you know, one time I was coming out, and they took a picture, I was like, I'm not married, so. <laughs> you can't. I'm good. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Growing up, we put Hellman's on the sandwich or Miracle Whip. I'm Hellman's, a Hellman's guy. Hellman's. We never did the Miracle Whip. I honestly, I still don't know what Miracle Whip is, to be honest with you. I did it one time by accident. Yeah. Because it, I'm a Hellman's guy all the way. So shout out to Hellman. Shout out to Big Chickens. Oh, Travis, yeah. Travis, Travis not oh, a Hellman's yeah, you with Papa John's, too, ain't you? Yes. Shout out to hey, Papa this, John's. This is, this is, this is yeah, Papa that, now, that, yeah. I'll <laughs> 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 um, Papa gone. I had a question in terms of, you mentioned, you say this to me all the time. You say, you're one of those cool white guys. You know, you're not trying too hard. You and Travis are so different in the type of white guy. In the type of white guy. All right. Travis is a, I have 17 different pairs of fresh J's. Mm -hmm. You are, I want flip flops. Yeah. In all, you're wearing them right now. Yeah. Did one, t did he take after mom? You took after dad? Like, no, I think, um, I think Travis. First of all, he played basketball, so he always loved basketball shoes, and he always liked like basketball cultural things, right? So I think he was always big into all that stuff. Um, I didn't play basketball; I played hockey and lacrosse, and like it was just a different demographic. Yeah. And I think Trav and I both are the same in the sense that we just do what we want, what we what we like, we're real. We're just trying to be ourselves. So I don't know that. You know, the stuff that he enjoys, uh, I might not enjoy. Like, he likes to go to the club. I want to go to a lounge. I want to be able to talk to people. I like talking yeah, to people. Yeah, yeah. Trav is trying to dance, right? I think. <laughs> he really is. Yeah, and like, he you really see it in is. the end zone. That's that's his that's his game. And I think, well, but no, at the same time. Rhythm too. Yeah, no doubt. But at the same time, uh, we're very, very similar. Like, I, I think that the material things are different. But as people, uh, we're integrity driven. We're honest. We, yeah. We're ourselves. And. Uh, so there's a lot of similarities from that regard. Do you and your brother have discipline that I'm familiar with? So my question is, was your dad hard on you too? Yes. 
Very hard. He, he, he was hard. He, he was honest. He, he was... You know, you have a connection. Planet. You have a connection. We, bro, we, we're from the same planet. So I'm studying as a new dad, and I'm like, how hard do I have to be on this kid? I would actually love for your yeah, advice but it, on it's this. different. I, I'm, don't, yeah, I, I'm new. I'm in... Yeah, I don't... I wow, think, you both just were like, nah. No, because... So you don't want my like son to be a professional I don't athlete? like giving parenting advice. I think... Okay. I think... I think uh, you love your children... And you and you you're, you're honest with them and you're and, and you keep them accountable, but I've I've read books and I've tried like all this stuff and I think most parents are just figuring it out. Yeah. And if you approach it with the the overall mentality that you love them and you and you're gonna you know you're gonna you're gonna hold them accountable and 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 and, and keep them uh, uh, and be honest with them. Yeah. I mean I don't That's know. That's what's important. Yeah. To me, I've never I've never ever had to spank my kids. Like I, I was a high level juvenile delinquent. I was a follower. So basically my, my dad's disciplining was first developing me to a leader. And he was always saying, you're not going to be out here getting in trouble like I did. And he would touch me up and I'm glad he did. But I could tell by you, your brother, I think Gronk is in that category. I could tell who was raised by, I could, <laughs> yeah. no, I, bro, I can tell. Yeah. Like I can tell like just by, just by what watching. Do, what do I seem like? Yeah, you you like that too. Like you Ooh, have, yeah. Oh, I wasn't sure. I yeah. wasn't sure. Like you have like you know great discipline. Now, when I say a great father, it's not about this. No, 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 no. It's about being somebody strong. No, like Bruce is the man. Like my father, even though I got spanked a lot, he always had a message. A message, a message that still resonates with me today. Yeah. I was telling him when my chef makes a sandwich, one slice of turkey. Yeah. One slice of cheese and some helmets metal. You know, my chef would get like, bro. Growing up, I couldn't have seven pieces. of Turkey. Yeah. Take that. One yeah. slice of turkey, yeah. cheese, his helmet's <laughs> made. You have a helmet's. <laughs> you know, hey, it don't matter, but that, that, that's just the way it is. I went viral and it's still going. Lefko asked me if I open up to a woman. Emotionally. Emotionally. So my question is, and I hope I'm not being disrespectful, do you open up to your wife? Would I open up in what way? Like emotionally? Yes. Yeah, I'm an emotional person. Got it. Yeah, Shaq went viral because he said, in no circumstances should you, because they'll throw it back in your face. I get it. I am, uh, I have the, I would love to hide it, but I'm bad at hiding it. I, like, for some reason, I cry like a baby when I gave, yeah. I give speeches to the team. I'm, I have great respect. This is another thing. Somebody said something about it in the paper, about it's like toxic masculinity, or, you know, this is what's wrong. We can't be emotional in front of people. And I have nothing wrong with people that are emotional, but people that can control their emotions and release them at the right time or at, in the right moment, um, that is a great sign of self-control and self. So I don't have that. I am very emotional, unfortunately. And I mean, it's sometimes it leads to these incredible highs and yeah. it's like, it gives me stronger. Yeah. And then sometimes it's like a, she probably uh, stopped being a little baby, but yeah. that's the way it works. Yeah, but I was explaining, like a uh, comedian friend of mine asked the question, who do you talk to? And I was explaining to him is, we're blessed. Yeah. Right? So the problems that we think we have, are they really problems? Yeah. On the way over here, I saw seven homeless people. Yeah. This is Super Bowl weekend. Right. I, I flew here private. Yeah. All my boys. Hopefully I'm in a sweet neck to Taylor Swift. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so my, my little problems, are they yeah. really problems? So I'm able to go home and be like, shut the hell up. Yeah. Up whining. Yeah. House is 70,000 square feet. <laughs> you got a chef. And then I can hear my father talk, man up. Because now, when I was married, I don't want to, my wife already dealing with a lot. Yeah. I crazy. <laughs> babies, this and that, and that, the internet, and that. I don't want to put more pressure on him. So that's why I've never... You know, that's why I always held it to myself. But for some reason, it, it's going viral and toxic management. I wouldn't call it toxic. It's just that I, I care about people, and I'm blessed. I'm super blessed. Is it really a problem? But to me, that's just you. What you just explained to me is you have the self awareness, and can, first of all, you can control that emotion, and then you can look at it reflectively and say, "Life ain't that bad. It's, it's pretty damn good, right?" And I, and and then certain emotions. I can deal with, but I don't let them drive me crazy. Like I explained to him, when my sister passed away and Kobe passed away, it was my fault. 
not their death. It was my fault because as the leader, as a guy, I could have called and said, Kobe, what's up? Yeah. I could have called my sister and said, hey, I love you. But I'm working like, so it's my fault that, hey, you didn't take time to take two minutes just to say I love you or I miss you. So I deal with that every day. But it's, again, there's people with way more problems than me. So I'm not going to sit there and say, eh, I deal with it. I deal with it. And then you just move on. But yes. it's going like it's been it's been on every talk show. That Shay Shay and <laughs> World Star Hip Hop, The View. Yeah. And they all got something to say. But well, it's just as, how, as but, you know, uh, none of that means nothing. It's a bunch of people saying nonsense.